The house that I've always had was 3412 North Hope Street. So they run straight to that house and they break the door. And this is for the haters that'll say, why would they raid Hope Street? You see, that's my address. I still have the house. All right. So that's the proof. It's, this is a nightmare, man. This is a nightmare for people to think that this is a, a joke or a game. Like, this is real life. There's real life people on, on this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys property receipt from my house from the FBI. Now, I'm blocking out the case number for a simple reason is that I'm not yet charged. This is an ongoing investigation. That's the reason why I don't talk about it too much. But normally when something like this happens, what they do first is they come seize anything that you can make money from. They seize pretty much everything. And in hopes that you can't pay for a lawyer, in hopes that you can't do this, in hopes that you can't run away. I'm not a runner. You know what I'm saying? I'll be home all day now. You know, they try to stop the flow of everything until they finish their investigation. Now, I personally think they came a little early because they saw me in, in the Dominican Republic, you know? I just... I went out there, man. I went out there to have fun. I'm always stuck in the house doing nothing. Um, this is affecting so many people. So many people. And, you know, people just expect me to lay back and just be, you know, some broke, miserable bastard. And I can't have anything. Everything that I wear, anything that I got, it gets questioned. Oh, how were you able to buy computers that quick? Listen, don't get mad at me because I know how to attack life. I attack life rapidly, all right? I, I, I run straight towards life. You know what I'm saying? People wait for life to get to them. People wait for someone to call them and say, hey, buddy, I got a job for you. People just sit around. Like, no, I'm not sitting around. Like, this, the only thing that I have now is my YouTube. Like, honestly speaking, Everything else is shut down, like shut down. I have nothing else. My assistant hasn't been paid. My secretary hasn't been paid. My manager hasn't got paid. My right hand man in construction hasn't got paid. And everybody's like, but what did they do? Uh, he was committing fraud. I never committed fraud a day in my damn life. All right, this is for not paying taxes on a service, on a service. Service, not a Ponzi scheme, not none of that shit. On a service, on a service. All right, so that was Omi and a Hellcat. Now, let me get this straight, man. Let me see if I get this um, straight. So a couple of days ago, we dropped a video about Omi and a Hellcat and this warehouse situation. Um, whoever has been managing Omi's Instagram account has been um, going at Mimi, right? They've been going back and forth about this um reloaded warehouse now in the video i shared a couple days ago i showed you guys this right here right um and you can see that in 2020 right mimi bought this building for a sales price of two hundred and twenty thousand dollars now that video was dropped around the same time period by the way he actually private this video along with a bunch of other videos on his channel but i still saw the video and this is a a clip i wanted to share with you and he said on video you guys got to hear it he says um everything has been shut down he only has his youtube channel 
And then he even goes on to say, my assistant hasn't been paid, my manager hasn't been paid, and a whole bunch of other people haven't been paid, right? Um, but he still attacks life. But I'm trying, I'm curious, how did they come up with $220,000 though? Where did the $220,000 come from? And this is the post that um, I guess his manager or maybe Omi in prison posted going at uh, Mimi about this building, right? And then something here about um, she will be going to federal prison, right? Once the lawyers are done with this, she will be in federal prison for all her involvements. She's trying to go to war with someone and she has no money for loyal lawyers. All she has to do is do the right thing, make some money and walk away. Interesting, right? It's interesting, but it still doesn't answer the question. Where did the $220,000 come from? in 2020 now what's so crazy is man i tell you this thing is getting more and more crazy right so i dropped that video like i said a couple of days ago but i had actually recorded that video um probably like several days beforehand so it was before um might have been like february 10 february 9 something like that and then I go back, man, I go back and guess what happened? Mimi sold the property, this reloaded warehouse, right? She sold it. You can see right there, right? Sales date, February 14, 2024. She sells it to uh, Bill Omar. That's Omi and a Hellcat for a dollar. Now tell me, man, does this shit look real suspicious now? This, this shit looks real suspicious. She got it in 2020 for 220,000, but Omi was just on video. That's probably why they started taking these videos down. All right, because it was like it's probably like putting evidence against uh, Mimi at this point. He got on video. He said the FBI's tactics or or the Justice Department's tactics in a situation like this is to make it so that Omi is not able to move right they freeze all his assets um they seize property and everything right so everything has been shut down he only has his youtube channel his youtube channel didn't make him two hundred and twenty thousand dollars to buy a warehouse something is just not adding up here um and he even remember like i told you that was never his girlfriend at least when he told us he said that was his assistant but um now, in video, you heard him say, my assistant hasn't been paid. My manager hasn't been paid. Um, his construction workers haven't been paid. A whole bunch of employees haven't been paid, right? And it's affecting a lot of families. I might play the whole video at a later point, but I just want to give you the core of it. By the way, the first half of it, that's the feds um, when they started raiding all his properties, right? That was one of the properties. I think that's the property registered to him at the um, like at the DMV and all that stuff, right? Or I think maybe his ex baby mom, or maybe even Mimi might have lived there. I don't know, but um, they did seize a bunch of properties. So again, where did the two hundred and twenty thousand dollars come from, and why did they quickly, dude? I literally made that video like February. Like, I had prepared it. Um, it didn't get published on the channel, on my channel, until, like, afterwards. But, you know, a lot of the videos, like, you guys, like, this video, it, it goes into the, um, like, it gets prepared several days, maybe a week before this actually gets published. So, that video, like I said, it was, like, somewhere around, like, February 9th that I was actually working on the actual video. Um, so, now... You see February 14th, she sells the property to Omi while he's in prison. She sells it for a dollar, one dollar. Like, come on now. Like, does that shit look real suspicious now? Shit don't look real suspicious at this point. This shit is not adding up, man. So I think she's probably been, yeah, like something, like I think, um, whether it's Omi or um, or what's that guy, Michael. 
they have a lot of like a lot of the stuff they've been posting at first i was like a little skeptical of i was like this stuff like are they doing this like fake drama to give views or whatever but some of it is starting to uh add up now like mimi i guess had managed some of his money i don't know if it's money that's been reported to the fbr fbi or money that they kind of like secretly stashed from the fbi something is not clear right here but again what's not clear is how did she get two hundred and twenty thousand dollars at a time when omi said he was completely shut down he couldn't afford to pay his employees the only thing he relied on was youtube youtube made enough money basically to fund his lifestyle at that moment where did two hundred and twenty thousand come from at that time and why after we talk about it does she suddenly sell it for a dollar like literally this happened this month i mean this month is almost over but by the time this video comes out it'll probably be like towards probably the last couple days of february so literally this happens this month like come on man like this shit is looking real weird right now real suspicious that Mimi is trying to clean her hands right now. She's like, let me get, the, let me get rid of this shit. This ain't shit. This ain't my shit. Uh, no, ma'am, ma'am, you bought this for two twenty. Why would you sell it for a dollar back to Omi? That don't make fucking sense, does it? Does that make some fucking sense? You got it for two hundred and twenty thousand. You're gonna get rid of it for a dollar. I mean, I think maybe she gifted to him, but it's just it's weird, right? Like, tell me, man, tell me, get in the comment section, man. Is this shit making sense? This shit is looking real weird right now, real suspicious. But uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. We might actually have to explore all the other properties because uh, I know her name is behind a lot of the so-called giveaway houses. You guys remember Omi and a Hellcat's so-called giveaway house? But she's been magically the person that owns those properties, not the winner's. So we're going to get into all that, man. But um, let me know about this. This, this shit is looking real suspicious now.